Greetings, lords and ladies, Kaiser here, and welcome to another episode of our Viking Conquest campaign. Now then, when last we left off, we had, well, we were hopeful for a continuation of a campaign up north in Alban, but the campaign was uh, cut rather short, honestly. Like, we were on our way, I believe, to try and take Duna Verte, which is currently under siege by Alt Klut. Um... And we backed off. Uh, and while we were busy visiting our or one of our ladies in Eilach, we were informed that we were indeed given Sel Rigmonade as our own fief. Um, right after that, peace was also signed, I believe even on the same day that Sel Rigmonade was given to us. Peace was signed uh, between Alban and Northumbri. However, literally a couple of hours later, <laughs> um, Alban declared war on Northumbri yet again. So here we are. Um, if nothing else, look at that. We have 58 angle freeholders. Like, all of these men are f were given to us for free, so to speak. There's already two ang uh, angle horsemen in there. Um, a Norse veteran, a Norse noble, Hersir. Um, there's plenty of good troops in there. Like, how much are we, how much are we talking in, um, budgetary over here? Selerigmonade is gonna cost us 900, but where is, oh, there we go. Rents from Selerigmonade and tariffs from Selerigmonade. Like, it, it, it would be magnificent if we could keep this, because look at that. Look, look at that, baby. 6k plus every single week. Woo -wee. We need that. We most definitely need that. And that's pretty much just that. Um, yeah, that's about, what? what is that, 6300. So we would actually be in the negative. But only because of the troops in Selerigmonite. Um, right, let's actually get in here. And check this place out. What can we actually do here? Oh, there are competitions even. You know what? As I do these days, once again, because I <laughs> I got paid. For anybody that doesn't know, uh, you probably know because I already told it in the previous episode. But um, the game crashed after about an hour of our... Uh, after about an hour of uh, a recording during a battle. Traveling to the port of Edinburgh. How and why? You, I believe, are our enemy, are you not? Surely I didn't miss something. We were at war. Kingdom of Northumbria, that is us. Versus Kingdom of Alban, that is you. Why would you have access to the port in Edinburgh? Well, I mean, I guess there's nobody there to defend, but still. Okay. Um. Ask for potential recruits for... Pictish landowners. Uh, forget it, actually. We have a lot of troops in this city to do with as we please. Uh, let us join the competitions. Sure, why not? We are at 100% health now. So it should be good. And it should be a relatively easy additional, like, 3k profits. I am unhappy. I have a spear. And we are the middle team, a.k.a. the other two teams are just going to be rushing at us. How do I do any damage with this? I hate it. Thank you. Like, you have to attack him from behind to do anything with it. Did I get him? I got one. Okay. I mean, I think I got like three or four in that fight, so we should be through. Yeah. Please do not give me spears. Are you telling me that the Britons slash Picts fight with spears and spears only? Everybody has a spear. 
Except for that guy, he has an axe, and the other guy has an axe. My entire uh, my entire team has nothing but spears. Meanwhile, the enemy teams have like the better choice in weaponry. Okay, so uh, those guys finished each other off. It was lucky that only two of them came at us, so one from each team. Uh, there's two of them coming towards us. If I uh, tell everybody to charge, they're just gonna pile up on this. Like, okay, look at that! He has a sword. Okay, at least this guy has a spear as well. Good God, this is gonna be a nightmare when it's one on one. I really hate fighting with a spear. I really do. I'm sorry. I know I keep saying it, but. Oh, we have, we have, no, I was gonna say, because I didn't see what that guy had. I was gonna be happy that we maybe don't have just spears. That's an axe. That's two axes. Yep, okay, it's working. Operation, have our men keep them in place while we stab them from the back is working. Also known as hammer and anvil. More or less. I am the cavalry in this case. <laughs> Four teams, one fighter each. Okay, we're getting there. Can I have an axe, please? Oh, thank you! Oh, no. Okay, yeah. Come on. He has a sword, too. Okay. Our shield has taken a severe beating. Okay, okay. Good, 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 good. We're through. We're through. We're through. Woo! If I had a spear and not an axe in that fight, we die. That's it. The end. Well, I mean, at least he doesn't have a shield, right? Uh, he's coming at us. Swing, 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 swing. Swing, bada bada. Swing! Yes! Okay. One more. Tier six. Yeah, that's the last one. Ancorect. Oh no, it's a it's a named dude. And I have a spear against them. Are we gonna f <laughs> I don't wanna manifest this, but are we gonna lose in the final? <laughs> what does he have? He has a spear as well. Wait, it's a woman. Wait, I beat- You were the first one to fall in the previous round! Okay. No. Protect. Stab. Protect. Stab. Protect. Stab. Yeah! Win! Yeah! Yo! <laughs> okay, so that's what forty two hundred. So we got we get. I keep forgetting this math. Six years, so six times one hundred. That's six hundred. Um, forty two minus six hundred. We gained uh, thirty six hundred peningas, more or less. And our town likes us a little bit more now because we won. We got an item, a horse. Oh, hello! We can make another one of our companion companions into a cavalry unit. How good is the horse? Like, how good are we talking? Uh, we just won, so I'm gonna save. Um, <laughs> let me just see the not managed trade with locals. Show me the horse I got. 50, 40, 18. 50, 40, 18. Awesome! It's actually the same story. Amazing, actually. Great, great, great. Okay, so we're back at 18,500. Okay. So let's manage this town. Build a scriptorium. Build a merchant's rest hall. Build a shrine to Norse gods. Conversion factor. What is that? Build a slave market. Build a messenger post. Build a prisoner tower um okay, so messenger post if i remember correctly basically just um informs you of enemies in the vicinity faster prisoner tower increases the uh 
or rather decreases the possibility of people escaping your prison uh, your prisons i don't know what the others are but am i right about this I haven't sent you a message whenever enemies are nearby, even if you're far away. Yeah. It actually wouldn't take that long. It wouldn't cost that much because Agathinos is a freaking maniac when it comes to engineering, which is awesome. Um, prisoner Tower, it includes a torture. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, as the party member with the highest engineer skill, Agathinos reckons that building... Okay, 35 for 16 days? Uh, build a shrine. A shrine promotes pagan practices. Okay, Agathinos... To Norse, shrine to Norse gods that will cost you 7,000 beningas and will take 28 days. Go on, Christian's riot could cause, Christian riots could cause negative 30 relations drop. Aha, forget it. It doesn't warn me anything there, anything there. Build a merchant's rest hall. The merchant community adding prosperity. As the party member with the highest engineer skill, Agathinus reckons, okay, 4,000 in 18 days. Scriptorium, what is that? Increases your renown as a patron of knowledge. As the party member with the highest engineering skill, 8,000 for 31 days. All right. And a slave market. Slave market increases the prosperity and tariffs of the port town, but reduces your reputation. As the party member... Okay, so basically I'm guessing that this reduction of reputation and the increase of reputation... Oh no, it increases renown, not reputation. Aha. Uh -huh. I mean, increasing renown is good, no? But I think we should go for this first, if anything, because the prosperity will add more tax, will add more tariffs, if I recall correctly. So let's just build this, because why not? Um, Where else could I actually... Let's visit the Lord's Hall. Kingdom Bard. Is there anybody here that I could talk to? Gothi. Okay. Come, brave warrior. Come, brave warrior. He smiles and pleased. He smiles pleased. Aurel is more than pleased to smile upon great warriors like yourself, and he knows your feats of arms. I am here to bring you back to honor the old gods of our ancestors, Bjorn. But you must also help us. Christianity spreads like a plague and displaces the go old gods from their rightful seats. We need money to recruit warriors to kill these cowardly clerics. He places his hands on your shoulders. We ask for just 300 beningas. I can tell everyone how Bjorn is truly favored by Odin, Thor, and Freya, letting all the kingdom know of your respect for our gods. But you must fund my travels. Travel expenses would amount to a thousand beningas for that. Kill them all. I will donate 300. Thank you, everyone around to love and respect me. I will give. Are you selling? You know what? Let's Let's try this. My relation with pagans has increased. Okay, good, good, good. Um, where could I find any sort of information on our populace and things here? Manage the garrison. If we really wanted, I could just take a whole bunch of angle freeholders right now. Train them ourselves. How many units... Uh, speaking of which, yeah. How many units can we actually have in our party party we can completely manage 180 units i see i see okay thieves plus 80 uh -huh. that is cool party size limit is 360 but we can basically control half of that party morale is good religious differences are negative yeah because some of them are probably christian tro troops cause trouble morgan clovis ailed you don't chat agathinos oh god all of the Irish, the Angles, the Britons, they're all... Oh, and the Frisians even, really? They're all Christian. Our stamina renown is 611. See, this is why I'm confused. Because whenever we ask a lord for uh, permission to recruit in their lands, it says either 100... No, no, it says both, right? 150 renown and five relation. That's, that's, yeah. There was a, your kingdom. I need to be the ruler. I see. Uh, do we get any information here? Difficulty. Uh, party budget wounds, quest, story, ships, relations. Uh, 
Might Ruler 7. States are celebrating one eight friends, enemies. Sigurd Ragnarsson, he's back in Denmark. Haraldsson is in Frise. Frisia. So we should be fine. Um, Laurel, friendly, friendly. Frise. Northumbria, loyal. Gwynedd, negative. Yeah, Alba, negative. Bumain is actually negative. They're suspicious of us for some reason. Oh, they were probably one of the kingdoms that we had to go raid for a mission or something, right? Um, Companions, relations... No, where? Surely rebellions are not random, right? Surely I can somehow control how these things work. Or how they affect us. Um, I'm curious what this guy's gonna be doing. Traveling to port of Dunbretan. All the way around? Really? I mean, sure. Okay, I'm just kind of chilling over here because I want to see... That's Hubi. He's going to... Okay, he's recruiting, I'm guessing. Has been freed from captivity by West Sax. I'm curious, how badly is West Sax getting mauled right now? <laughs> Nine enemies. Good God. Oh my God. Am I ever glad we didn't... <laughs> we didn't betray uh, the Vikings <laughs> and join with West Sax. Look at this. <laughs> no, the Kingdom of Darmark declared war. To curb the other realm's power. Oh, that's... That's actually a new one. I've never seen that re uh, Cass's belly before. East angle to curb, okay. Um, and again, see, they're they're supposed to be a truce, a twenty-one day truce. Why did Alban just immediately declare war on us again? Or is it connected to the bloody uh, quest that we have that we constantly have to be at war with them in order for us to be able to take that tribe of Osrike, uh declared war. Fighting has begun. Curb, realm spire, curb, curb. Okay, so basically, what happened is they got too big for their own good. Uh, and now everybody is going at them to weaken them a bit. Which means that the exact same thing could absolutely happen to us. We now control four towns over here, right? Um, not as many castles, or rather not that many castles. But four towns, and four towns is uh, the, what West Sax also has. Kerdi, Dif, Bos... That's West Sax, right? Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, they have five. Witan Kester is a... Uh, Kester is a town, I believe, not a... Yeah, it's not a castle, it's a town. Homs are castles, yes. Um. Okay, so we... I didn't get to learn any this really a lot from Celerigmanite over here. Um, I won't lie. Elderman reach... Okay, so people are going about on this side. I want to go to Skuin and see... Because I didn't notice earlier how many troops does Skuin have. Like, if near Balerigmanite North... Significant group of enemies. Where? Am I considered an enemy? Did they come by me when I didn't see them? Uh, why were we warned that there's a significant amount of enemies around this place here? Again, a significant group of enemies. Where, though? I'm around here. Are they on the other... No. They can't be over there. They would have to be there. So what is going on here? A significant group of enemy systems... Are... Is this bugged and it's basically uh, telling me that I'm noticing myself? There's nothing here. Or no one. I mean, we have pathfinding and we have... Um, Tracking. Plenty of it. Right? Uh, yeah, seven. I think I think tracking is the thing that gives you uh, vision, right? 
Um, no, tracks become more informative. Then spotting, 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 right? How much spotting do we have? Eight, even better. Like, we should be able to see any enemies around here. Oh, oh, I'm an idiot, aren't I? Aha. Uh -huh. It was saying north, north, north. Somebody's raining Badrigmanite north over there. Got it. This is south. I was like, Badrigmanite, okay. Didn't even pay attention whether it was south or north. Got it. I'm sorry if anybody was yelling at their monitor for that one. My bad, my bad. My sincere bad. You, how did you get here? I saw you over here a moment ago. Okay, so Skuin has about 500 defenders. So if... If I really, really wanted to go and collect some lords to join us here... We might be able to siege down Skuin... Though I'm guessing the Albans would gather up an army to stop us in that case. I'm just curious how large was the army. Hmm. See, here's the thing. If I actually grabbed plenty of the units in Celerigmanite, we might be able to fight that. We didn't grab any, though, because I wasn't sure if we get here in time. We did not get here in time anyway. Also, what happened to the siege in Duin Feuther? That was being sieged down by, uh, whatchamacallum, Northvegers. Is he following me? He's not. He doesn't even know I'm here, I guess, yet. Doesn't have spotting as good as ours. Um, uh, it's a hard call. Like, what are we, what are we gonna do? He's patrolling. Is he gonna try following us? No, he's running from us. So he acknowledges that he's actually weaker than us. He has Pictish Horsemen, Elite Skirmishers, Warriors, Spearmen. Not that many, I guess. Oh, God, so many Skirmishers, though. Oh, no. We'd be pelted by Javelins and, I'm guessing, Arrows. And we would actually have to rush into them. Which is not a preferred tactic, but might have to be what happens. If he stays somewhere near while we go and collect some troops, that is. <laughs> uh, that, on the other hand, is not somebody that we can fight. 5.6, 6.1, we're fine. Oh, that's a... Is that their lead? That's their leader, isn't it? That's their king, Rui Ruir. Um... Alban. Yeah. That is their king. So their king has 229 troops. If we had some lords on our side. Good God. Why is nothing actually happening? Why is no campaign being planned? What is our dude doing? If Seledigmanite gets attacked, uh, I'm not sure if we go and defend it or not. I guess it depends on how many attackers there are. Um, why the populace is indifferent to me? Yarl Bjorn Ragnarsson definitely gave me permission to recruit, so why can I not recruit anybody here? Oh, did Ricci or whatever his name is possibly already recruit people here? Um, no, you haven't really. Yeah, no. I guess somebody uh, just came by earlier before me. Let's go to Edinburgh. Basically what I'm doing right now is just trying to recruit some more troops. Because we're going to need it. Good God, that's even more. Look at that. The tariffs. Woo! We need to keep that. <laughs> okay, so we are defending it, I, I guess. <laughs> uh, ask for potential recruits. Oh, hey. Seven Norse Freeholders. I will take that. We now have, suddenly have the money to possibly um, maintain a larger army, so might as well. Who should get my... Uh, you know what? Enough of politics. Um, actually, if we say that we support him to get it, he would like us more, right? Uh, let me tell you who I'll support. I would support you. 
There we go. Okay. It only gave us three. Still, could I suggest a course of action? No. Okay. So 15 is not enough. I was hopeful because he has like 340 troops. Like, goddamn. <laughs> Would be amazing if we got him on our side. Um, Edelrand Buka. I don't think that's one of ours. Um, bandits. That's not. Oh god. Oh god. I swear to god, if the game crashes on me at this point. actually hit me. Die! Oh, there's more. What the? It's morbid. Is there more? No. I mean, I'll take the 350 Peningas. Why not? Actually, <laughs> let me just save. I don't want that to repeat. Okay, we got in. Good, good, good. Recruit volunteers. Three Norse freedmen. Take them. Uh, I mean, at this point, we're essentially just increasing our... Uh, our Norse troops, aren't we? We're not really getting any uh, angles or anything like that. With that in mind, let's visit the neutral castles and whatnot. Like, look at this. There are so many troops over here. So many people with so many troops. But we're just not doing anything. Oh, that's just one person. I thought that was two. <laughs> With Sax, running from Bjorn. Are we at war? Uh, why would they run from me and not from the dude in front of me? We're not at war. Why would you run from me? Did I attack them once? <laughs> Might I have attacked them? <laughs> not sure. <laughs> uh, recruit volunteers. Can I get some? You need permission. Really? Who? Kunur, Bekchek. Yo, 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 yo. You're over here. Bekchek. Bekchek. Stop there. Stop right there. Oi, oi. Thank you. Oh, he hates me. That's why. <laughs> um. So he's not going to let me. Uh, Never mind. I guess I'm just going to have to go and bribe the old man. In that case, let's go bribe. Old man, we're at war. I need troops. Uh, follow me, I'm recruiting. What can I say? Okay, of course your time and health will be rewarded. What happens if I just do this instead of paying? I'll take a commission. Huh? What does that mean? Peasants. Geburas. Okay. What are these guys? Peasants, 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 peasants. Pheasants, where are they? Wait, where are they? Oh, Anglo peasant, huh? Huh? So, Gebur. That, that's the only way I found them, like, because of the Gebur. Even though it said Gebur, I think. At any rate, right. Okay, so they are angles. Good, 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 good. Uh, angles, not Irish. Oh, right, this guy's Irish. I need you to go into Irish labor. Yes. On that note, we should maybe go to Ireland and get some more troops from there. Who... We need some skirmishers. We de like our don't get me wrong. Our spear uh, spear wall <laughs> is pretty much a uh, pretty much a javelin wall at first. So we do throw shit at the enemy, but the enemy is most likely going to be throwing more shit at us. Uh, that is what I, why I kind of want more uh, skirmishers on our side, and I am legitimately unsure which. Which would be the best skirmishers? 
Um, definitely not the Norse. We want the Norse to be our uh, bodyguard, not bodyguards, nobles, so our spearmen. Um, the Saxons, no angles. I mean, the angle bodyguard, we already said, not really looking that good. The angle horsemen would be good, I guess. Uh, standard bearer, I'm not even sure what they do. I think they increase your morale or something like that. Um, but yeah, <laughs> most of their skirmishing, quote-unquote, is done by the bowmen, which is a second tier, which is not good. Definitely not good. Britons, I mean, their Briton archers are a little bit better. Um, but what are the chances that we actually get any Briton units, considering everything? Though, if we go to Saladigmonade South, those should be Britons, right? Those should be Britons. Uh, and those are javelins. So if we get some Breton bodyguards, that would be cool. Irish, we already said we're going into Irish bodyguards. Though Irish elite skirmishers, look at that. That's uh, tier 4, so maybe the Irish are very good in that as well. Oh, or maybe the Selerigmonides would actually give us Pictish troops. In which case, the Pictish noble, look at that, look at that. Would be awesome to have. The Frisians, no. That's pretty much it. Okay, so... I think we take a few more troops from the surrounding villages here and then go back up to Baladigmanite South. See if we can get some stuff there. You need to get permission once again first. Sure, sure, sure. So this is more, more or less a recruitment episode. Sorry, guys. I just really, really want to make sure we actually have a strong enough army. Um, to... Five Britain serfs. There we go. Britons. Hello. Nice. Okay, so Odd basically has Britons, or are these guys the Britons? Uh, slightly confused, but also happy at the same time. Because <laughs> that does mean we have a source of Britons. Not of Picts, but Britons at least. Gwilnam Trevkob. Uh, recruit volunteers. I don't have permission here either. Come on. All of the permissions. Give me. Give me permission. Uh, I'm recruiting. You will be rewarded, sure. Uh, 300 penegas. Okay, okay. That's not that bad. I will pay with silver. And let us recruit. One Britain serve. Man, I feel like I got scammed. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just go around, recruit some more. Let's get a big old army. We can't recruit in a castle. This is going to do a quick save. Trefquil. Go to the village center. Though the, the possibility to recruit it doesn't even show up, so never mind. Probably means that somebody had just recruited here. Some, what's the use in getting permission? Do I help this guy? You know what? Let's help this guy. Maybe he's going to like us a little bit. Because of our definitely needed help. <laughs> Might as well, right? Any way to increase our relations with people. Though these guys are masterless men. Hey, 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 hey. So let's not just two of us rush in. Though that's Kayo. So maybe we do the two of us rush in. Where are they? There they are. I didn't actually check what they are, but I think there there were five of them, so it shouldn't be too hard. Uh, it seems to just be. Oh, I didn't get you. They're just slave drivers and sailors. Okay, so my horse got a bit dented so to speak us not so much okay um there we go all right he actually hates us <laughs> so uh this was a good one this was a good one uh i don't think we're gonna be rescuing any of them but sure i'll take the sailor why not might as well share loot yeah it's not like we're gonna get much out of this but sure uh ale is a sellable so we'll just do that yeah, 16. That's not going to be useful for anybody. Okay, so he likes us a little bit more for that. 
and all and we also got some experience for that so oh gosh darn it again okay let's actually pull out our stuff start throwing they're attacking us okay. you have a knife my friend how are you actually parrying how are you parrying with a knife? Or not, not parrying, uh, defending. Okay, which ones are mine? No, oh, you're mine. I can't tell. Uh, yay. Uh, charge. Oh, that's it? Oh, okay, 200. Try to find out who wanted you dead. New quest. Reveal assassination. Uh, was this also a possibility before? Someone attempted to murder you. You can try to find out who wanted you dead by meeting the killer's contact in Tref Breton East. Where's Tref Breton East? Okay, so somebody wanted us dead. This is this is interesting. This is new. I like this. It is new and I like it. Who could possibly want us dead? In this faction, even. Because the contact was in... Uh, Alt Klut. Oh, that's a that's a castle. We're not gonna be able to recruit here. Never mind. Uh, yeah, sure. Straight for Breton East. Actually, looking at the time of the recording, I do believe that I will have to do a cut right there. So in the next one. Okay, so we actually managed to keep Ma Mam Kestera uh, long enough for it to be given to somebody. That's wonderful news. <laughs> uh, at any rate, guys, yeah, this episode was, I don't know, it, it was interesting for me because we managed to uh, look around, get some new quests such as this, of uh, essentially realizing that we might be able to take Squeen if only we get some lords to follow us. That might be something we want. Uh, we want to do, um, or if we find the uh, marshal, so our marshal, maybe we can get him to do something. Um, Mam Kester is no longer under siege, so I'm not sure what these guys are doing. Okay, so we're apparently raiding them. So that's 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 not a battle. I mean, that's not a invasion. That's just us being annoying. Um, so maybe. Uh, here's the thing. I want to go south and fight, possibly, because I'm pretty sure there are a lot of our lords there, considering a lot of them got beaten up and captured. Uh, on the other hand, I really want to stay up north just to be able to def uh, to defend uh, Arigmanite over there. And, yeah. I'm still a little bit baffled why the Kingdom of Northumbria was immediately declared war, uh, like declared upon by Alban, but I'm guessing that it's the, um, I'm guessing that it is the uh, event spawned uh, war due to us needing to take Duntaro. But yeah, at any rate, guys, that's gonna be it for this one. I will see you guys next time. Until then, as always, ad gloriam.